I will not qualify to PFP if I have these results. I cannot see now. This one really need practice. I cannot argue. If you want to argue with me, I don't know what to say. <laughs>
foundation right how about the other little things like your vocabulary so it's okay if you guys have little to no bombastic words in your essay but make sure that your grammar is accurate your sentence structure is right your subject word agreement is right if not you look a lot of marks in your language so that is the thing that i really learned and i really regretted that i didn't i didn't really catch that point really really early yeah so for the last tip for english is basically your summary okay i'm gonna put this straight to your face guys my summary i do not paraphrase <laughs> i want to just say okay please paraphrase words okay if not you're not getting language marks for me i cannot paraphrase because once i paraphrase all the things the meaning will change so my teacher say the last resort is to actually get all the points okay, get all the eight points right and then maybe change one or two words only okay because right you know eight points or 15 is a pass okay try to get the eight points copy paste it then you just secure the eight points already it is a pass then the uh, language why just change one or two questions maybe you can earn up to one or two points uh, one or two marks so basically that's for english so yeah that's all the four or five tips four or five tips for english and for science i'm so sorry i couldn't give you guys much elaboration on that because i usually like either memorize or do the practices i know it's kind of like not helpful but i'm so sorry about the next question i have is how to do better for math okay math i love math honestly um i actually deny at first but i cannot beat it okay so for math i actually okay for my english and math i actually took tuition for three years um yeah because i really want to make sure that my english and math is strong i know that a lot of people might not have tuition so please consultation with teachers that's the that's that's the free thing you know i mean you want to do well might as well get them busy right okay so how to do well for math okay practice is key this i cannot say enough practice is key do a lot of tyrs even you have to repeat that tyrs just do it guys but once once you want to do your tyrs again make sure that your mistakes from tyrs one the first practice shouldn't be repeated in your tyrs the second try because once you repeat it that means you don't really understand it okay and ask a lot of questions do practice on your own even people say okay um do question for this question to this question just do extra it's okay there's nothing to lose guys practice is key really practice this one i cannot say now this one really need practice i cannot argue if you want to argue with me i don't know what to say <laughs> yeah so practice 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 okay if i have more tips i'll share with you guys in the comment section um i just don't want to waste a lot of your guys time okay the last question for today for studies is I am an NA student, okay. So taking N level this year, I have I have only one month plus to study. So do you think I'm going to actually get my target points because my MRE result wasn't that great? Let me share with you my story. During my MRE, okay, I okay, my score was decently okay, but it wasn't in the PFP um a point range. Okay, okay, let me get. Up. I'm doing okay, so let's go to prelim. Once prelim started, guys, prelim was like a really, was really a, a bad fall for me. Seriously, like, was really a bad fall for me. If I can, if I can show you guys my results, I just insert it here. It was a really bad fall for me. A lot of things happened, especially to my history and my SS. Um, it was a really bad time for me. I was at the first was like I will not qualify to PFP if I have these results. So for me, okay, right now you think that your MYE results wasn't great at that time, but mine was my prelim result wasn't great at that time. So I, the next exam, it just end levels. So I was thinking like, how am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to score? How am I supposed to go to PFP? A lot of things run, run in my, run in my mind. But I think one thing that I, what actually made me like, you know, keep going was that you know what just try your best you know whatever it is n n no route is a bad route seriously guys ide sec 5 pfp these routes are not bad at all it's just based on your learning style so if you guys okay let's let's not say lucky okay? if you guys have a terrible um, results that you guys didn't expect it i want you guys to realize that you know you guys have put in a lot of effort you know and 
and you guys have put in like your studies, your time, you know, effort here and there, ask teachers questions. The most important thing is your effort itself. I know it's really worrying. I can't deny that. Of course, right now, even in my poly days, I was like, how am I supposed to do well? How, how am I supposed to do well for my GPA? I know it's hard, guys. It's really hard. No one can deny. But the thing is that make sure you put in a lot of okay, make sure you put in your best effort and at the end of the day if you didn't get the results that you expected i want you guys to be proud of yourself because you tried you tried no because you didn't give up you know you want to do well but you d- didn't stop trying so afterwards what no matter what results you get i want you to be happy about it because you might not know your next journey in life is something that you're you didn't expect it i do have a friend okay um he went from night tech and then he went to na wow amazing and then na he went to ite and then he became like uh the top score i think uh student example okay i don't know what the, what the name of it if i'm not just insert it but i won't insert his face lah so basically i want you to know that no matter what are the results uh be sure Make sure that you are happy with it. Make sure that you acknowledge your effort. That's the most important thing. That was uh, I've done my best. So this is the journey I get. I will actually do better with my next journey. Show that I'm capable to do anything with any pathway that I'm given. So I know it's really hard. It's really hard to get your target point. It's really worrying. But I know that you guys, as long as you put in your effort, you should proud of yourself with any results that that is that is presented to you okay so if you guys need anyone to talk to feel free to text me feel free to dm me i'm more happy to actually you know give you guys uh, maybe a bit of piece of advice and something like that okay guys so basically there are the three questions regarding studies if you guys have any more questions curious about this and that i will try my best to answer because currently i've graduated three years ago in 2019 so a lot of things has changed especially during the pandemic so not all my responses can can be used or is very effective to you guys today but if there is something that you know if you guys have anything that you guys want to share with others feel free to comment down below and that's all for me stay tuned for the second part of the q a because i'll answer all those really burning questions really about youtube questions my personal life so you guys want to know about me be sure to watch the next episode of the q a see you guys very soon adios <laughs> i've been changing up my career.